I teach Intro to Online Teaching. It's a fully online master's level course at the University at Albany. And right now in my course, uh, I am having discussions with my students about uh, creating learning activities and um, engaging online students and how you actually do that. And um, the project in the course, the students have to create their own online course. And we've been going through uh, the process of um, incrementally um, discussing and creating the different um, areas in their course. And right now we're talking about creating engaging online activity, uh, activities. Uh, for students, uh, activities that are authentic uh, learning activities, given the options and limitations of the online environment, activities that engage students, activities that leverage technology, um, and um, you know some of the examples that I, I use in my in the teaching of my course are meant to model some ways that I think are effective to engage students online and some of those would be by using video for example um, by using audio by using um, the medium itself uh, effectively um, by creating visual interest with um, in a variety of ways um, by um, uh, leveraging uh, the labels of things, for example, by how you organize and present the information on a page. Um, so, so when I think about um, creating learning activities for online students um, and about creating um, a learner-centered uh, teaching and learning environment for students, I kind of think about things in three general areas. Um, one would be how you present content uh, to the students, and so I look at the variety of content that I have, um, and I think about how, uh, given the options and limitations of the environment, um, can I uh, uh, can I present that content in a way that is engaging to the students and that might be engaging visually or it might be engaging in terms of engaging their senses in multi multiple ways um, it might be um, uh, a variety of different ways to think about the presentation of content. Um, I do it in a variety of ways in my course. I, for example, I have an icebreaking activity uh, where I use VoiceThread, and um, you can embed video into the VoiceThread. And so, one of the things that I do um, as a sort of icebreaking activity for the students is I have a, a, um, a videotaped my. Uh, um, myself interviewing my little daughter uh, about me and so I'm asking her questions about what she thinks like you know um, what I like what I do um, uh, sort of to get her to describe me and um, and so I use that as a way to introduce myself to my online students so it's it's a look at me through my daughter's eyes and I embed that video into the voice thread and um, and then the, the tool VoiceThread itself uh, is engaging in terms of presenting content because it allows uh, people to interact over the video and over some of the slides that I put up. You have little icons so you can see people. Um, and so there's an element of social presence there because you can actually see the people from their little icons um, when they can comment on uh, the VoiceThread. And then also it allows you to comment in a variety of ways so you can do um, text and you can do uh, audio and you can do um, video so um, so that is an engaging I mean you can do icebreaking discussions you can do discussions in a variety of ways but um, the added visual elements and and the multimedia elements to the voice thread make that activity more engaging and because there's a social aspect to it um, and, a, and a visual personal aspect to it like hearing someone's actual voice or seeing a video of them actually talking um, that enhances the level of engagement it's it's um, 
engaging people in a multi-sensory way. Um, so that's one of the ways that I use um, technology to enhance the presentation of content and engage online learners. Um, in addition to the presentation of content, I also think about the facilitation of interaction and collaboration in my course. And, um, and I think about how I can leverage technology to help me do that. And um, and 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 also specifics about uh, how you can do that in an online environment, and it may or may not have anything to do with technology. And so, for example, one of the things I do um, is I have students uh, peer evaluate each other. Um, and I do that in uh, in my online discussions. Um, the other uh, sort of general area that I think about in terms of engaging online students has to do with how I provide feedback, uh, assessment, and evaluation um, of students. And one example of how I do that is um, that I use uh, audio podcasts to provide feedback to my students. And I do that for, in, for a variety of reasons. Um, one is because it makes me more effective and more efficient in terms of providing feedback. It's much easier for me to talk my feedback than it would be to actually write it all out. Um, and, um, and, and for another reason, I, I think it, um, it's more engaging because they hear my voice actually uh, talking to them about things that I think that they need to um, change or improve in terms of the designs of the courses that they're working on for the project that they're working on. So um, in addition to voice, I, I also use screencasts, so I do um, uh, Jing's or screencast o to um, show them uh, visually what it is that I'm looking at and so I can I can um, record what's on my computer screen as well as lay my voice on top of that and so it, it make that's another way that I um, am more effective and more efficient in providing feedback but it's more engaging to the student because uh, they can actually see um, their own work in front of them with my voice on top of them and so on top of the um, um, the project, their own project, and so uh, it's much more engaging for them. So um, another way that I uh, engage online learners is with the, the use of video, so like this one, for example. And um, my students are uh, master's level students, and they are either pre-service or in-service educators for the most part. And they are everything from K-12 through higher education, and everything from master's level students to PhD students. And and so I have a, a wide variety of um, of students in the class, uh, with, from a variety of disciplines, from science to librarians, uh, and everything in between. And um, and so one of the things that I try to demonstrate for them um, in the course is um, how to leverage technology to enhance and engage students and, and enhance instruction. Um, and I also want to demonstrate to them um, how it's possible to uh, blur the boundaries of the classroom. So with this video, what I'm trying to achieve is um, uh, an invitation to the world to come into my class and to engage with us in this discussion that we're having in my course right now, which is on how you engage online learners uh, and or how you enhance instruction with technology. And uh, so what I'm hoping is that friends and colleagues um, or even people that we may not know, that I may not know, what, who may have an interest in this topic would join us in this conversation. Uh, and would um, contribute their thoughts on, and um, their effective practices in uh, using technology to enhance online learning uh, or, um, uh, you know, to uh, enhance instruction in some way. And I'm hoping that um, 
you know, you will be interested in um, in participating in our conversation and, and demonstrating for my students that we can blur the boundaries of the classroom and invite people in. And also, I'm hoping that my students see that with that blurring of the boundaries that they can reach outside of the classroom to the world, to the to um, to the world of uh, possibilities for interacting and engaging with people out there, um, and uh, and to kind of extending their understanding of um, what it is really to create a um, uh, a, a social network, to, uh, uh, a personal learning environment uh, where they can reach out to others who share interest and affinity in particular topics, in this case online learning or instructional technology, and have a conversation. Um, so bringing guests in, um, inviting the world into my course, and taking my students out um, to really have um, uh, um, an authentic uh, learning experience and an authentic experience in um, uh, leveraging the affordances of the social web. So I hope that you will um, consider participating in this conversation with us.